This episode of the Fiction Writers Podcast is brought to you by How to Write a Novel That Sells. Do you dream of writing a best-selling fiction novel? With the right tools, you could get there sooner than you think. Visit www.howtowriteanovelthatsells.com and unlock the secrets to writing compelling fiction taught by international best-selling author Lana McCara. Welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where you will discover tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Here you'll find new energy, new perspectives, new resources, and new ideas that will spark your creativity into a blaze of brilliance. It's easier than you think. Be sure you visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now, get out your notebook, tune in, and let's get started. So what is the difference between a hybrid publisher and a traditional publisher? The answer is so simple, but it might not be what you expect. My name is Lana McCara, and welcome to the Fiction Writers Podcast. Tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. It is so difficult sometimes because the word royalties keeps coming up. So a royalty publisher, what's that? Hybrids pay royalties. Traditional books, uh, publishers pay royalties. And so does Amazon. So royalties really are not the differentiator, the, the difference between these different types of publishers. There's so many options now. Back in the day when I was first getting published, you could go traditional or you could hire a printer. That's basically it. (laughs) You just couldn't go get a modified anything because now there are some self-published companies who will help you publish and market your book, but they're self-publishing. So what is the difference and it's so easy it's all in one word and that is an advance an advance is money ahead so when you sign a contract you get a check now that check is not a it's not a payment it is an advance so let's say you got an advance of five thousand dollars that was pretty common for me back in the day five thousand dollar advance So what that means is when your royalties start coming in, you start selling books and you get your percentage of the sales, you don't get any money in addition until your advance is covered. So they are advancing you the money and then you have to make it up with sales. And if you never do make it up with sales, then that's all you get. You don't get any more. And so that is the difference between a traditional publisher who gives an advance or these others. The hybrid publisher, you pay some down and you actually give them an advance, right? (laughs) You give them $5,000 and then they treat your book as if it were traditionally published with the distribution to the major distributors and the ability to get in the bookstores, and they do all the things a traditional publisher does, except you pay them money at the beginning. They don't pay you money at the beginning. That is the difference. And then with self-publishing, you pay for it all, and you take all the risk. So a hybrid is good. I like hybrid publishers. I really do, because this is the difference. When you have a traditional publisher, they pay you in advance and they own the rights. So you are a commodity. You are the writer. You're a commodity. You're one person in the chain. They have the writer. They have the editor. They have the book marketing person. They have a public relations company or department. And you are only one person in that chain of events. And what you think doesn't really matter to them. The marketing people are going to pick the cover. The marketing people are going to test out the, co- the, the title to see how it's going, you know, on CEO, SEO or whatever. Uh, so 
with a traditional publisher, yes, they give you an advance, but then they take over the project and they actually take the rights to the book. Now, there's a lot of controversy about that, but it is what it is. That's tra traditional. A hybrid, you pay them that money at the front, but they treat your book like a traditional publisher with the distribution, the quality cover, and they even have people helping you with marketing and all that. But you have 100% control of the rights. You never lose your rights. And they also bring you a cover for approval. They bring you all this stuff for approval before it goes to press. The difference is you're not a cog in this long chain of events to a hybrid. You are their customer. You're their customer and they want you to be happy. Such a different approach between traditional where you're just a piece of the pie and hybrid where you're the customer. They treat you so much better. Hybrid publishers are so much better with that interaction, that relationship. Now, would I still go with traditional? Yes, I would. I would because of distribution, because of prestige, because of the ability to really get out there in the marketplace. They still have that ability. But the difference is the advance and whether you are just one person on that train to publication or a customer. So I hope that helps you when you're making your decision. Check every publisher out. Look at their list, their books for sale. Look up those authors, contact the authors and say, how was it working with this publisher? What do you think now that you've been through the process? Get the goods before you make a decision. I hope that helps you today. Thank you so much for stopping by the Fiction Writers Podcast. My name is Lana McCara. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for tuning into the Fiction Writers Podcast with Lana McCara, where we share tips, tricks, and ideas for fiction that is hashtag unputdownable. Remember to visit our website at www.fictionwriterspodcast.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Fiction Writers Podcast.